MK World. Uh, what we got here is a three door uh, Victory uh, refrigerator. Uh, first thing I notice condensers pretty plugged with dirt. So uh, that's not good. And uh, second thing, looking at the compressor 2010 10C uh, serial number. So eight years old. Um, Google it and you come up with a half horse 115 volt uh, 5600 BTUs R134A compressor so hey world how you doing this is an old victory Let's see what this thing is uh, in here Got tag on this little baby yeah. Uh, let me turn on my light or just at least get a light. Let's see what we've got here. See if I can get some focusing. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know if I can see what we got here. Hell, hang on. Okay, we're all, let's see if I can get this going for you guys. A victory. And uh, power supply, 115 volt. We got model RA3 D, RA D, RA 3D 30 S7, as in S is in Sam 7. 115 volt. Uh, serial number 892. That'd be probably a 1992 unit. Got here. I'm guessing the refrigerants are gonna be R12 here somewhere, but it's been changed, I'm sure. Charge. Oh, we got refrigerant. Yeah. I can get any. Yep. Yeah, I called that one. R12 old R12 box converted to a. So. Anyways, it doesn't really matter what this box is. Um, it is three door. So, uh, you guys uh, want to? <coughs> okay, this is a three door victory. Um, you guys, uh, the old boxes. If you want to convert them, uh, a good rule of thumb with these boxes is quarter horse per door. Quarter horse, half horse, three quarter horse. So if you put a three quarter horse on this, uh, it'll do sweet. You know. That's how I, that's my little uh, tip of the day for you. And uh, this is a, uh, this is a heavy half on here. It's a, it's a half horse ARG62. So I was doing some uh, hacking and mowing tonight. Start components all blew out. Hang on, let me turn on the light. Okay, this is the midnight hacking and mowing. Uh, seven amps. Sounds sweet. Purring like a kitten. Alright, midnight hacking and mowing. Oh yeah. Okay, um the box was up to 65 degrees, compressor wasn't running because the compressor start components went out on it. Now I got the box running, put a hard the RCO210 uh kit on it, started up, and got a pretty good drop in on the trending graph so it's coming down like a rock coming down good 46 degrees uh, checking the infrared inside the box 13 39 and a half this is the ambient in the room 87 degrees uh, just hanging just taking the outdoor temperature there box is down to 42 on the dial thermometer here Actually, uh, this is the air up on the top by the unit. 95 degrees air entering the condenser. So um, 91, 95, depending on where I put it, I think it was. Okay, uh, we're looking at uh, superheat and subcool here. Uh, subcooling's a little high. Should be about a max of 5 degrees subcooling. And superheat's a little high, so we got a little bit of a restriction in the cap tube. Uh, head's a teeny bit high, but not bad. It's right in there. Um, who knows if the cap tubes are right. 
uh, those you can see it's been worked on we got 125 degrees condensing so we're not far off um, superheats a little high subcooling is a little high so probably a little bit of restriction not terrible but box is not doing 40 it's for doing 43 degrees 42 degrees so we've got flat line now if you notice the trending on the graph though at the bottom here uh, you notice it's flat lined uh, that means the compressor is not pulling down anymore so um, yeah definitely a little bit of restriction and this is what I do I, I take photographs of the parts that I used you know like the wire ties duct tape uh, butt connectors uh, just I snap photos and that's how I record what parts I use and I did snap a photo of the RCO 210 kit but it didn't come out right so it's not there anyways um hope you liked the video uh, click like on the video and subscribe all right take care uh, thanks for watching and have a good one bye